2.15 and I am working on just some quick eggs for myself and for Ruth and probably grab an apple or something like that before we head out. We're going to go grocery shopping today. My eggs, super simple. I'll probably grab an apple before we leave. Hey guys, so it is lunchtime and oh my gosh, it's been crazy. We went grocery shopping. We had to do it really fast because David has to be had to be at work at 11. So we just so crazy. So um, pretty much we got like about the same amount, same things. A few other things that we got because I'm gonna do a few different. Um, meals than what I've done um, the past two times um, but real quick I'm gonna show you I am having the leftover um, meat from last night and then I just um, did two little small potatoes um, in the microwave because I don't know how much time I have before the little one is gonna wake up so I figured I'd show you that real quick just that real simple I might I'll probably end up grabbing some fruit or something later um, but but yeah, that's what um, I'm eating. But before I start eating, I was going to show you just a couple other extra things that I got that I didn't get last time. Um, I had to get some more cashews. Um, I ran out. But they, the last time I got them, I, they had the salt on them. And this time... Where does it say? Oh. It's just plain cashews, which I like. I don't, I'm not a big salt person. Like, I don't, I don't know. I prefer things to just be minimally salted. Um, and then I also picked up some pitted dates. Just, um, I'm actually making a Whole30 approved barbecue sauce for some pulled barbecue chicken sandwich, or not sandwiches, but, um, just some pulled barbecue chicken. David might have a sandwich. I don't know. But, um, and the sweetness comes from the dates. So, yeah, that should be interesting. I'm excited to try making that to see. I don't know, see if it's good. I hope it's good. Um, and then I'm also going to be making, um, some like little meatloaf muffins, uh, or like little mini meatloafs. And so I had to pick up some almond flour. I wasn't, I didn't think that this was approved, but then I read on their, on their website, um, that it is approved. You just can't use it for things like, um, you know, to make muffins or make other, like, sweet things. Um, it's just to help with, like, making meatloafs or meatballs or things like that. And so, yeah, got that. And then I also picked up a little, little tiny pack of chia seeds. I've heard of like really good things about them like they're really they've got like lots of um, good health benefits for them and they are whole 30 approved so um, I figured I would pick those up and just see I don't know what we can what I can do with them I know you can make like a pudding type stuff I need to check and make sure that that's whole 30 approved ah I forgot that I needed to record um things are crazy the baby's crying I'm trying to get dinner done but I've got I'm doing Burgers, fries, both in the oven. I was gonna do the burgers on the stove, but I went ahead and just put them in the oven. Hopefully they'll be good. I've never done it like that. But yeah, and then I'm also doing onions and mushrooms. So I'll show you that really quick. There's that. And then my fries and my burgers. Now I better go get to the crying baby before I need to get this stuff out. And here's my plate. Hey guys, so it's the end of the day. I am getting ready to cut up some strawberries and probably go to bed pretty soon after I'm done. It has been a rough evening. Didn't eat dinner till about 8 o'clock. <sighs> yeah. But, yeah, overall though, Food wise, cravings wise, hasn't been too bad. Right now, though, I would really love some chocolate. I'm halfway there. <sighs> but I'm gonna fish or cut these strawberries up and then I'm gonna go to bed. So.
Bye.